If you are frustrated by a lack of leads, inquiries, prospects, sales or referrals for your products and services, then you might want to identify why your marketing may not be working. This can be done with your marketing dashboard from the resultsacademy.com and the 90 day marketing plan. The first section in your marketing planning dashboard is the MRI or your marketing resistance identification process and it's broken down into four key steps. Number one, where are you now? You need to carry out a situation analysis so you know exactly where you are in relation to your plan. And if you haven't got a plan, we then need to go to step two, to identify your marketing objectives. You need to identify what it is you want to achieve. For example, it could be your revenue. By clicking on the revenue tab here, we can see that we can set how much it is we want to achieve. And the system will calculate exactly how many leads you need, how many sales. It will also help you to identify how many referrals you require. Step 3. Your resistance. What are the real issues, challenges and obstacles that are holding you back? and preventing you from achieving your marketing goals and objectives. What's the root cause of your marketing problems? Quite often we're spending a lot of time in our business and dealing with the symptoms of poor, bad, negative or selfish marketing. And by going through the resistance process we can identify very quickly exactly why it's not working. In step 4 we identify our priorities and the budget that we're going to allocate in terms of the human, technical and financial resources that we need to implement the plan. So what's the plan? The first step of the plan that we need to think about is our positioning, all our research. We need to think about our target market and whether we've created an ideal client profile. Our target market's motives in terms of what do they want, why do they want it. We need to think about our own USP or unique selling point. What makes us unique and different from our competitors? What's the value we offer? How do we mitigate and reduce prospect risk? And what results can prospects and clients expect? We're judged by the promises we make and keep and deliver upon. So, how can you manage expectation by the promises that you make? What are the promises that you make to customers? And what's the proof of performance? that customers can typically expect. The next part of the marketing dashboard is packaging. This is where we create and articulate the business case in terms of what it is you have to offer. What is your core offer? How do you build that case in terms of your marketing literature? How do you verbally articulate the case by way of an elevator pitch? What are your revenue streams and your pricing? What about your proposals? What are the different ways that you use to evaluate the proposals that you send out to make sure they're hitting it right on the mark? When we think about packaging or products and services, we'll still need to think about what are the issues that we address? What are the pains and problems that your clients and prospects have? What's the impact of that pain? And how much does your solution cost in contrast or in relation to that pain? How can you demonstrate your expertise and your website? Is it rich in content and examples of what you have to offer and how you can help? The next section of your dashboard is promotion. And here we look at a number of different tactics and different ways in order to raise awareness and get your message out to your target audience. For example, your branding, your online visibility, your media exposure and how you're going to stay in the limelight. What about the different tactics that you offer? Which ones are working? Which ones aren't working? Online tactics, offline tactics. There are a number of different ways in which we can ensure that we can get our message out. What about referrals? Do you know how many referrals you need to give you the revenue you want? Have you created an advocate profile? An advocate profile is a detailed description of the criteria that you want potential partners to meet in order to refer you qualified opportunities that meet your criteria. And what about your keep in touch strategies? What are the different ways that you will keep in touch with clients as your business grows? We then need to think about persuasion, selling and converting. And with the start selling system, we can set the scene, identify our prospects, troubles. 
we can discuss the money and who's responsible for signing the order and then we can tie it all together and close the deal. Last but not least in your marketing dashboard you have the performance section and here we talk about the different reports that you'll use to produce, read or inquire. You'll have different ways to define your own key performance indicators and all the different metrics that you could use to monitor the success of your marketing program. You also have a number of other tools to help you keep in touch with clients and so that you're communicating on a regular basis. And you can compare how well you're doing in relation to the plan. Are you ahead of your objectives? Are you meeting your objectives? Where are you today as opposed to where you should be? And of course, you also have our inbuilt progress evaluation system to enable you to monitor your daily progress on a daily basis so you can identify exactly where you are, what you want, why you haven't achieved it yet and what you could be doing differently. And that concludes a brief overview of the Marketing Planning Dashboard from the results academy.com